knowledge on insurance innovation, digital business options on entrepreneurship, our website insuredextory.com and we are available on Spotify, Apple, Google and Amazon Music. Today we will discuss on the topic driving efficiency and customer satisfaction, the power of digitized claims. And for now, I'm delighted to welcome our guest Troy Stewart, who is the President and Chief Operating Officer at Brush Claims. Stewart started at Brush Claims 12 years ago as a field adjuster, then shifted into a quality assurance review position where he rose to the ranks of Vice President of Daily Claims. Appointed as the Chief Operating Officer, President and Partner in 2018, Stewart was essential in the development of Brush Claims software suit Hubfire, which is planned to hit the market in late 2023. He also played a large role in the evolution of HIDAP claims handling program, which boasts a 68-hour cycle time. And all these are part of Brush Claims. In 2021, Stewart participated on behalf of Brush Claims in Cohort 7 of the prestigious Lloyd's Lab by Lloyd's of London. And overall, an excellent journey with notable achievements. Welcome on board, Troy. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Uh, I, I look forward to our conversation here on uh, driving efficiency through customer satisfaction. Perfect. So my first question to you, Troy, is how has the digitization of claims process revolutionized the insurance industry in terms of efficiency and customer experience? And we all know claims is the single you know, moment of truth, right? And that's the critical aspect of the value chain. Your views, please. Yes, yeah, certainly. So uh, the the digital influence on the customer experience has been tremendous over the over the years. With uh, the pandemic most certainly um, expediting uh, implementations uh, across the board, um, we've made huge strides across across the space, particularly um, on the front end, underwriting, uh, onboarding pieces of the claim or of the customer journey. However, when it comes to claims, we're still a little bit behind, uh, particularly in the property segment, uh, which happens to be our specialty. And so, you know, one interesting point that was made during a, a conference that I attended last year was that, you know, many people began to uh, go through the journey on, on, of, of a claim on the digital front, but quickly abandoned due to, you know, inefficiencies um, or lack of consistency, fluidity in, in the process. So a lot of really UX driven issues. And, and I think it was, it was kind of that recognition of that being problematic that, that began, I think really this year of driving a lot of effort towards digitizing the claims experience. And, you know, uh, in doing so, you know, we can really begin to gain ground as it relates to to meeting the customer where they are uh, and, and starting to meet their expectations. Right, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, just so follow-up questions on that. Can you share some real-world examples of how companies have successfully implemented digitized claim systems, you know, and seen tangible improvements? I mean, we, we all talk about digital transformation, which is the, you know, the new uh, buzzword in the town, but yeah. how exactly it's being executed on the ground and what tangible benefits are customers uh, experiencing is something that you know we are very keen to understand. Yeah, so I think at the most basic level, right, you're starting to you're you're seeing implementations of RPA, you know, automating a lot of the manual pieces uh, for claims professionals to focus their time a little bit more effectively with the customer uh, and progressing that claim forward. You're seeing the chatbots start to uh, start to be utilized in a more impactful way um, because of enhanced knowledge bases that are being that are being put out and accessible to those chatbots. Uh, so you're seeing a little bit more efficiency, and I think you're starting to see some uh, a, a little bit of a movement. You know, traditionally claims is always a reactive piece and that's, you know, innate to that type of a, a situation, right? 
Yeah. But I think there's a lot of there's a lot of places that we can begin to implement proactive approaches to claims, right? With their, particularly catastrophe response uh, and events. We know there's there's so many great data sources out there um, at, that that can be bridged to gain insight into a particular risk and their exposure to a particular weather event. So there's no reason why proactive efforts can't be implemented rather than rather than sitting around waiting for a policyholder to to connect with their their agent or or insurance carrier so do you see any any challenges that you know coming in the process any foreseeable challenges or any challenges that you have, you may have come across yeah i mean one of the biggest challenges right is change management yeah um, yeah very true can, changing the mindset of, of how we go about doing things. It's, you know, it, it, it's kind of, I, I have kind of a funny chat with colleagues, you know, across the industry. And we talk about, you know, the reflection of catastrophe response across the board um, year over year. And everybody has so many ideas about what want, what we want to change, what we, how we can change, how we can improve, how we can provide better response to our, to the policyholders. And at the end of the day, you know, not a whole lot, gets done um, yeah. in really changing the way we go about do, uh, uh, responding because change is hard. Change is difficult. It, re it requires, you know, top down um, kind of cultural shift, right? Uh, and, and mindset. And that's, that's a challenge. And the lar larger the organization, the more challenging it becomes. And, and I think, you know, I think you're really starting to see a lot of strategic partnership partnerships uh, come to rise, you know, as it relates to, you know, our kind of uh, company with insurance carriers to be able to leverage, you know, some of the capabilities that we've been built internally uh, to enhance the service offering for policyholders. And I think you're going to see more and more of that as we continue um, down this path of digitization. Yeah, you know, you mentioned uh, briefly on customer experience, right? And yeah. when we talk about digital transformation, it's ideally about how digital platforms are helping customers, you know, in more convenient ways to report and track claims. And that can, you know, begin with submitting and claims online, tracking the progress of the, you know, claims uh, payment or, or any sort of an updates that comes, you know, during the process of application till the claim is received. So do you see any sort of a, accuracy or, or you know a fraud detection kind of a uh, element that comes in between because everything is happening online and how technologies act, you know can be leveraged in real terms to actually you know find out the accuracy or any fraud element in such claims yeah you know and that's that's a great question right i mean and that's that's one of the difficulties and i think one of the hesitancies across the board right i mean there's uh insurance is a highly regulate regulatory industry yeah and you know to make to make these drastic shifts to automate and straight through process and things like that you do introduce a lot of a lot of ability for for folks to to bring fraud into the picture um, and, and, and it's a, it's a real problem and it's even worse with a lot of the deep fakes and, uh, and, and that sort of thing being submitted, um, for, you know, personal property inventory claims and that sort of, and, and, and those sorts of, of claims instances. And, you know, as far as, as far as a solve, um, for those deep fakes, I think it's gonna, it, it's gonna take, it's gonna take. The community really uh, to to be able to identify and and uh, uh, streamline some some resolution to identify those deep fakes to identify those fraud opportunities. There's already a number of things you know as it relates to photos that can be implemented that can raise flags. You know with the metadata and and ensuring you have lat long um, enabled. But but even then. You know, there's there's still there's still always going to be question around the, le the legitimacy at times, and so so I think you know it, it kind of goes back if something doesn't look right, smell right, you you, you need to raise a flag, um, and I, I think that that adage kind of kind of continues to hold true uh, as it relates to uh, specifically. Um, uh, identifying some of those some of those areas, you know, we we can 
we hone in on on like I said the metadata elements and 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 the lat long to legitimize the the claim as it relates to the loss location um, and ensuring that we have authentic uh, uh, imagery at least that we're reviewing. Yep, absolutely. I think it it one of the major benefit if it's you know done well is having that loyalty with those policyholders who are actually you know uh, claiming the uh, right details, right? Yeah, so, and I think, uh, and, and I do think, you know, with with some of, I mean, most, at the end of the day, most people just want to be taken care of, right? Yeah, They're not looking yeah, to defraud yeah, their, yeah. Their, their, their insurance company. Uh, you do have your select groups that, you know, um, will go those routes. But, but overall, you know, particularly in, you know, if we're talking, catastrophe response and such. Uh, overall, people just want to be put back whole as quickly as possible. And they want to yeah. know that somebody's there to guide them through the process. And I think, you know, utilizing some of those proactive tools and 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 online uh, offerings um, and digital experiences can, can allow uh, claims professionals to get to the finish line much more quickly and efficiently. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh Try my last question for the day is what are the key components of a successful digitized claims platform and how do they contribute to uh, streamlined operations and, and improved customer satisfaction? Sure. So, so it all, sta it all starts with, uh, with the employee uh, use, right? And the overall workflows and processes. And I think, you know, from that perspective, I think it's very important to lay out the overall uh, the overall journey. And you know, when we went to build kind of some of our solutions out, we wanted to build out the entire process and the journey from cradle to grave, and begin to you know see see where we were currently and how we could begin to improve. You know, whether it's time spent, number decrease the number of clicks. You know, just the fluidity of the process for our employees, so that they could be they could spend more time on meaningful tasks. That's not a new concept, right? But it's one that it, it's one you know I have to say must be overlooked because we work in a number of different claims management platforms. You know, with many of our clients, and there's a lot of redundancy and repetitiveness to to the task. And so, so being able to streamline a lot of those efficiencies to first allow employees to be more productive is, is, is step one. Step two is having, you know, some of those outward digital experience tools that allow policyholders to participate in the claim, understand what is coming on. And it's all, it's all about expectation management, right? Yeah. Uh, C, CX is delivered and aligns well. Uh, when when a consumer is well informed and as a as an industry holistically you know in claims in particular expectations are sometimes kind of kind of left to uh, to the consumer to, to figure out and so as an industry we've got to do a better job now fortunately there's a lot of tools and platforms that are coming to light that allow us to do that and you know we've built one in particular that allows a policyholder to participate in the claim receive updates as the claim progresses automatically and they know who to contact at any moment should they should the need arise through you know true omni-channel support so i mean it's it's the little things it doesn't have to be these 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 massive overhauls of systems but it does it it is important to look and reflect on you know, the needs and the wants of your consumer and be able to implement some level of, of satisfaction along with the, the, the lines with those wants and those needs. And, and, and it all stems back to communication and expectation management typically. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, the key, the key points uh, that we can summarize is, of course, the employee management part, which you said. Also, uh, to add to that, I would say, you know, the workflow management, the automation part, and of course, a user-friendly interface. That's one of the key parts that how customers can actually interact with the system. Yes, 100%. I mean, it, it, transparency it goes a long ways in promoting trust and, yep. and ultimately yep. that experience. Well, fantastic discussion, Troy. Um, you know, 
Thanks for your time and your thoughts today. A true delight to have you as our guest. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate the time. You have a great evening. And lastly, to wrap this up, thank you for listening and see you at our next episode. Take care and stay safe. Goodbye for now. Thank you.